In this video, we will look at cutting limits and how they are used in PartMaker. This part, we look at their setup dialog. This part has a length of three and a half inches, an OD of 0.375, an ID of 0.95, an excess stock of a quarter of an inch, and a work shift of three and a half inches. These boundaries are represented by this black line. This is my excess stock, here's my stock OD, my stock ID, and the length of my part. Let's create a OD profile. So we'll be turning outside to the right, we'll leave 10 thousandths in X, 5 thousandths in Z, and we're going to take a 100 thousandths depth of cut. I want to do roughing and finishing. We'll select our tools. We're going to choose the OD roughing tool and the OD finishing tool. We'll give this a group name and close. I will need to define my profile by using define profile. I'll use the closest intersection and I'll follow the outside profile of this part. And we'll end here. We'll put that tool away and now I want to verify this work group. You'll see you get an error. Profile does not intersect the cutting limits rectangle. Use PartMaker help to learn more about cutting limits. The cutting limits are the outside boundaries of this part. This particular profile is starting at zero but not leaving the outside boundary. To create this profile, I can do two things to modify it. I could change the cutting limits to be from defined by cutting point to be part profile boundaries. If I verify now, we'll show the tool is hollow. We'll use a verification delay of one. And you'll see the roughing tool roughs out material and the finishing tool does its finished profile. You'll notice though that it has not finished this section. That's because we defined this as part profile boundaries. Once the profile has reached this highest point, it ends that profile. To complete this profile group, I need to modify the profile. I'll select the profile, choose modify, and I'm gonna have that process come up to here. So now it will leave this boundary. And now I could take this and I could either leave the part profile boundaries on or go back to cutting point. Verify my work group again. And now you'll see it roughs and finishes the outside of the part. To recap. If you get an error message, profile does not intersect cutting limits rectangle, you can modify the term process, changing the cutting limits defined by cutting point to part profile boundaries, or you could modify the profile group itself to leave the boundaries. Thank you.